A new study notes these changes among gay and bisexual men are in response to the outbreak. Crown 4's Elsa Gamoni live in the studio with some of those details. Hi, Ella. Hey there. Well, Dr. Peter Chin Hong with UCSF commends the community for taking proactive measures to stop the spread while they wait for more vaccines. People at highest risk of contracting MPOX are changing their habits. The CDC shared a study by Emory University that says gay, bisexual, and other men who have sex with men are taking steps to protect themselves. 48% reported they reduced their number of sex partners, 50% reduced one-time sexual encounters, and 49% surveyed said they are hooking up with less partners met on dating apps or in sex venues. Dr. Peter Chin Hong with UCSF said it's good news that people at highest risk risk are paying attention and doing what they can at this time. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, it is actually a, a positive sign that people are looking at uh, what's going on in the community. But he laments that it's also an indicator that people are resorting to individual risk reduction because there aren't enough vaccines to go around. I still think that people should be cautious uh, in the community until there are more people vaccinated so that uh, there isn't uh, as much breakthrough infections. Because again, we haven't been able to vaccinate people in the, in the gold standard way, but hopefully we will soon as we get more and more vaccines. He went on to say that the more precise the messaging is about the health risks and prevention, the better off everyone will be when preventing MPOX from spreading to the general population. Dr. Chin Hung also said that this week San Francisco can expect five times more MPOX vaccines to become available. So that is the best when protected with two doses. And people either getting immunized or having contracted MPOX will eventually reach that community immunity. And that will last for years. Live in the studio, Ella Sigamonian, Cron 4 News.